The father in one of the floor, the state's most notorious child disappearance cases was jailed Christmas morning. Sheriff's deputies say they found Ronald Cummings passed out behind the wheel of a car that had crashed into a Putnam County street sign. 39 year old who you saw right there is the father of Haley Cummings, the five year old who disappeared from a Satsuma trailer that her father shared with a girlfriend back in February 2009. On your side, Ann Schindler has been digging deeper into exactly what happened, and Ann Cummings had just gotten out of jail just a few months ago. Yeah, that's right, Heather. Cummings was just released from prison in October for drug trafficking, a conviction that dates to January 2010. Now, Cummings, who was working the night that Haley vanished, was never considered a suspect. Her disappearance is now classified as a homicide. According to deputies, on, thank, on Christmas Day, uh, Cummings appeared severely intoxicated when they found him early in the morning behind the wheel of the crashed car, which was still in gear and running. The deputies said Cummings had a bottle of Hennessy on his lap and after he awoke, attempted to restart the car and drive away. The report says as the officer attempted to take Cummings into custody, he grabbed the deputy's gun and began pulling it from its holster. The deputy was eventually able to handcuff Cummings with the help of rescue personnel. He faces charges now, including battery on a law enforcement officer, resisting arrest with violence, and drug trafficking with levels of oxycodone in his possession. Putnam County Sheriff Gator DeLoach issued a statement calling Cummings, quote, a menace to our community. He added, quote, I hope we can move swiftly to put him back in prison. Now, it's worth noting Cummings was not given a DUI in this case. The report says he offered three times to provide a breathalyzer but because the jail's machine, their breathalyzer machine was out of date and out of compliance, the officer could not conduct a DUI investigation. Back to you.